Superintendent Dr. Ahart, Director of High Schools Mike Vukovic, Board Member Kirsten Dargel Della Gardell Shelley, honored guests, staff, students, graduates, and families. It is a pleasure to welcome you to the 2018 Ruby Van Meter Commencement Ceremony. We are here to celebrate and honor the graduating class of 2018. To start our celebration, the Ruby Van Meter graduates will perform unwritten under the direction of Lexi Schneider. Graduates, please come to the stage. graduates that was a whole lot better today this evening that was awesome all right our first student speaker tonight is Donatia Turner Donatia we come, to, come up Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Danisha Turner. I began and attended Ruby Van Meter in 2012. When I first started school here, everything was different to me. I was not expecting coming to a school that, that had so much. It was a miracle. Since I've been going here, I, I
ăn accomplish so many things that I have done. I believe that students can put anything they put their mind to do and to also to never give up. Life can be tough, but my point is to, to stay focused and to set goals for yourself. I remember when I first came to my new classes, I didn't have any confidence in myself. I had to learn and to become successful as I grow. One thing, one thing that I can say about myself is that I have not quit. I just keep going, keep pushing myself until I reach the top. I believe the rest of you, my senior class, can do the same thing. I challenge you, my fellow graduates, to be the best that you can be. Never let people tell you that you are not good enough or you will not amount to anything in life because I know you can make it. I was taught, if you want something in this world, you have, you will have to work for it. I wish all of you the best of luck in your future. Thank you. Our second speaker tonight is T.J. Hahn. In life, we are all given lots of special moments, and I believe we should enjoy each one of those moments to the fullest. Time is special, and it should be spent creating happy memories. You should not spend time being unhappy. Instead, you should spend your time enjoying your family and friends. No matter what they say or do, you should always enjoy your moments with them. Today, I hope we all created a new happy memory together. Let's give those two another round of applause. Weren't they amazing? All right, at this time I'd like to uh, welcome Dr. Ahart, Superintendent of Schools, for a few remarks. I don't think there's very much I can add um, after the remarks from Ms. Turner and Mr. Hahn. You guys did an awesome job. Um, the one thing I do want to call out to you graduates, though, is on our programs this evening, it says commencement. And you all have been working so hard, so hard, over the last 18 or 19 years to get to this point. And what commencement really means is that you are just beginning. So capitalize, capitalize on the friendships that you, that you have made among your classmates, but also among the staff here at Ruby Van Meter and Des Moines Public Schools. You still have a family here. We are going to continue to support you in your ongoing pursuit of success. And remember what TJ and Denisha said. Enjoy those moments, those special moments with family and friends, because that's really where the value in life is. And like Denisha said, we've never really reached our potential, right? So we have to continue to push and push and challenge ourselves. So I'm challenging all of you to continue to do that. Thank you for making this such a special evening for all of us. Thank you, Dr. Ahart. 
Uh, now I'd like to introduce Mike Vukovich, Director of High Schools, to read uh, profiles about our awesome graduates. Good evening. This is my uh, first time at uh, graduation here at Ruby Van Meter, and I can tell you I am just super impressed with the speeches and the singing. It has been fantastic. Thank you all to the parents and the family and the, su and the supporters in the room, the teachers and administrators at Ruby Van Meter. It's just an honor uh, to be able to work with you every single day. So we're going to start this off by getting to the stars of the show, which are our graduates. Our first graduate profile is Jessica Fox. Jessica entered Ruby Van Meter in 2010. She loves books, writing, and art. She carries a bag full of items so she is never bored. She has become very independent, categorizing, and answering questions. She enjoyed math, especially learning about numbers and how they work together. She also enjoyed employability class working in the media center, keeping the books organized. Jessie learned about jobs she may want to pursue in the future. Jessie has been involved in many extracurricular activities at school. She has participated in Special Olympics, bowling, and track and field events over the years. She has also participated in hot shot contests, Ruby Van Meter relays, sporting activities, and several mu music programs. Jessie was a homecoming queen candidate last fall. Jessie plans to live at home with her mother after graduation. She's exploring future work and volunteer settings. Good luck, Jessie. Our next exceptional graduate is Tanton T.J. Hahn. T.J. entered Ruby Van Meter in 2012. He is one of the friendliest students to walk the halls of Ruby Van Meter. He always greets staff and students with a hello and loves to talk about whatever. If you want to discuss action movie, TJ is your guy, as he has probably seen every action movie to come out. He works hard and strives to do his best in all his academics. He enjoys reading and writing, especially if his topic is Halloween or one of his other favorite movies. TJ loves to spend time drawing and building. He will draw all types of masks and build about anything using recycled materials. Always important. TJ has participated in Ruby Van Meter track and field, cheer, softball teams, and spe Special Olympics, where he earned several medals and ribbons. He was a member of the Lunch Brunch crew, where he was able to plan, prepare, and serve lunches to the staff. He especially enjoyed Hot Shot, Rick Lussie Day, Ruby Van Meter Swim Championships, Ruby Van Meter Relays and Homecoming, where he was part of the homecoming court. TJ has been accepted into the district's STEP program starting this fall. TJ, we can't wait to hear about all your post-graduation adventures. We wish you the very best of luck for your future. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Kendall Michelle Hall. Kendall started at Ruby Van Meter in 2010. Her sassy attitude and love of fashion accessories are second only to her kindness and empathy towards friends and loved ones. Kendall is always helpful to peers in need for, and forever has a caring shoulder to lean on when times are tough. Kendall loves to write, be it assignments in class, notes for her parents and teachers, or just thoughtful messages to those around her. Kendall's fashion forward ideas have played a part in her recognizing math patterns and arranging objects into pairs. Her attention to detail has proven to be helpful at the work sites, whether it was the mailroom at the DMPS print shop or doing housekeeping at the Holiday Inn and Plymouth Retirement Community. Kendall was crowned 2017-18 Homecoming Queen. After graduation, with the assistance of a job coach, Kendall hopes to find employment working with small children or helping to give care to the elderly. We wish you the best. Our
Our next graduate is Christopher Irvin. Chris started at Ruby Van Meter in 2010. Chris loves to talk and has much to contribute to any conversation. He is helpful and encouraging, especially with his numerous communication systems and styles of our students. Chris is eager to raise his hand and contribute to any topic the class is discussing. He has a great memory for stories he has read and helps the group recall stories that pertain to our current topic, even from previous school years. Chris also has strong opinions and loves to share them during civic liter literacy. He has demonstrated he can change his opinion after we check facts on our topics. Chris loves discussing current events and politics. Chris's school's activities include volleyball team, Ruby Van Meter basketball team, basketball jamboree, Special Olympics Ruby Van Meter swim meet, and music and arts programs. Chris has been very active in our community work program. He enjoys helping with our volunteer projects at the NAMI newsletter and Blaze Pizza. Using his experience from the DM IEC Church, Plymouth Place, and the Friendship Center. Chris has been invaluable as a substitute worker. He even piloted a new work site as, at Busy Bubbles, tending to the laundry needs of Recycle Me Iowa. After graduation, Christopher will live at home and continue to explore work opportunities. Good luck, Chris. Our next graduate is Mark Smith. Mark started at Ruby Van Meter in 2010. He has volunteered for many tasks around school and will stop to talk to just about anybody. Mark likes to read chapter books. He also loves math, especially counting money and writing about summertime. His civic, financial, and employability literacy classes has taught him how to save and spend money responsibly. Mark's other activities include swimming, Ruby Van Meter relays, volleyball, softball, pep squad, basketball, hot shot, Rick Lussie Day, Red Day, and homecoming. He goes to all the dances and enjoys talking with all of our visitors. He has also participated in the district and state Special Olympics swimming events where he earned several medals and ribbons. Mark had the opportunity to explore community work experience at Polk County Senior Center, Drake Diner, Walgreens, Subway, The Print Shop, and Plymouth Place. He enjoys working with others and is always looking for new challenges in the workplace. Mark has been accepted into the district's project search program in the fall. We wish him the best of luck in his fantastic future. Our next graduate is Malaysia Oakley. <laughs> Malaysia is a joyful young lady that has always bring a smile to everyone she talks with. She has been a student at Ruby Van Meter since 2011. Malaysia has participated in many activities while at Ruby Van Meter. She shared her beautiful singing voice with us this year at the talent show as well as music concerts throughout the career here. Malaysia also participated in Special Olympics and the Hot Shot competition. Malaysia loves singing and dancing. She always has a story to tell and the stories are usually filled with lots of flair. Malaysia's infectious laugh can be heard down the hallway and it brings a smile to everyone's face. No matter where Malaysia goes in life or what she does, she will be a wonderful addition with lots of joy to share. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Joseph Robbins. Joe started attending Ruby Van Meter in 2009. Joe has a kind heart and is often helpful to other students. He has been known to give a hug and tell them it will be all right. Joe likes, schedule, likes schedules and follows them well. Joe shares his reading abilities and great voice by reading aloud during class. He loves to play games about the 50 United States. Joe's school activities include our Ruby Van Meter 
Pep Squad Special Olympics Ruby Van Meter Swim Championship. Joe especially loves the music programs where his musical talents shine. He loves to sing and perform. His voice is a pleasure to listen to. He knows the lyrics to many songs. Joe gained work experience on campus and in the community. He has worked during lunch, serve, DMIEC Church and Polk County Senior Center and Plymouth Place. Joe uses his great clerical skills to help with all aspects of the NAMI newsletter, one of our volunteer projects for the community. Joe's neatness and precision are valuable com in completing this project. He can be counted on to work independently. Good luck in the future, Joe. Keep singing. Our next graduate is Megan Long. <laughs> Megan began at Ruby Van Meter in 2009. She has an infectious attitude we all strive to have. She is liked by all of her fellow Vikings, staff, and students alike. We are very proud of the young lady she has become. Megan enjoys reading books and the News to You newspaper. She also participates in civic, financial, and employability literacy. Megan has participated in many sporting activities, including swim championships, relays, volleyball, and basketball. She has also participated in the district and state Special Olympics events, where she has earned several, several medals and ribbons. Megan has also had a chance to participate in the extra school activities, such as Hot Shot, Rick Lussie Day, and Ruby and Meter Relays and Homecoming. Megan had the opportunity to explore a community work experience at Polk County Senior Center, Drake Diner, Food Pantry, Holiday Inn, and Plymouth Place. She enjoys working with others and is very meticulous about her work. Megan will be living with her parents in the future and is looking forward to many exciting adventures ahead of her. We wish her the best of luck in the future. Our next graduate is Joseph Clayton Matsky. <laughs> Better known as Joey, is full of joy and well liked by peers and staff as he greets everyone with his beaming smile throughout the day. Joey has grown tremendously in all of his academic classes. Joey has wonderful reading and writing skills, especially when writing about his favorite subject, animals. Joey maintains a wealth of information about animals, which he often recites to a captive audience. His love of animals is demonstrated with his adopted middle name every time he signs his paper as Joey the Vet Matsky. <laughs> Joey's activities at Ruby Van Meter included softball, volleyball, and basketball, hot shot, Rick Lussie Day, Ruby Van Meter relays, Special Olympics, and homecoming. Joey demonstrated his swimming ability when he took home the winning trophy at the Ruby Van Meter Swim Championships. He was also crowned this year's homecoming king. Joey had the opportunity to explore community work experiences including DMIEC Church, Plymouth Place, Polk County Senior Center and the Friendship Center. His supervisor often praised him for doing the work of three people at the DMIEC Church. After graduation, Joey will be moving out of state. He will continue working with the Vocational Rehab Program, exploring and developing his work experiences at his new home, where he hopes to eventually work with animals. He is looking forward to this next chapter in his life, and though he will be greatly missed, we wish him the best of luck on his wonderful journey. Our next graduate is Denisha Turner. Denisha attended her first classes at Ruby Van Meter in 2012. She is an independent, responsible, and respectful young lady. Denisha is a great role model for the students at Ruby Van Meter. This past year, Denisha applied and was accepted in the Des Moines Public Schools Culinary Arts Program at Central Campus. 
She gained work experience preparing food, communication, sanitation, safety skills, and had the opportunity to work at the Central Campus Cafe. She was so excited to learn that she earned her first A in the class and was moved to the more advanced class second semester. Denisha just landed her first paying job at High V. Donisha participated in Special Olympics swimming, track, and field, earning many ribbons and medals. She enjoyed playing on the basketball, volleyball, and softball teams. Donisha was a member of the Lunch Bunch crew. She was part of the homecoming court and was crowned the princess of high school. Donisha has been accepted in the district step program starting this fall. She is looking forward to learning new skills and meeting new people. We all wish her the very best of luck in your future. Congratulations. Thank you, Mike. Let's give our graduates one more hand. I like all the stuff. You can tell all the hard work they've done since they arrived at Ruby Van Meter. We are very proud of all of you. So tonight we're getting to the most important part of the celebration tonight. Um, presentation of our diplomas. Tonight, uh, Kirsten Delagardel Shelley will be presenting diplomas and our retirees will be handing roses on the other end of the stage here. We have Cheryl Alexander, Dave Lacombe, and Diane Mormon. They represent over 45 years of service to our students and the district, so let's give them a hand. All right, so graduates, if you would stand and come over to this side of the stage in order, please, by Ms. Laurel. Des Moines Public Schools exist so that students graduate with the knowledge, skills, and abilities to be successful at the next stage of their lives. That 13-year journey is supported by thousands of staff members throughout our district, many of whom are with us today. I would like to ask all of the employees of Des Moines Public Schools who are with us this evening to stand so we can all join in recognizing you for the efforts that you've made for all of these graduates. And now, on behalf of Administrator Cynthia Wise, the district staff, the community of Des Moines, and your teachers at Ruby Van Meter School, I am honored to confirm that the members of the Ruby Van Meter class of 2018 have met the requirements established by the State of Iowa and our Board of Education, and have demonstrated all the qualifications to receive a certificate of graduation from the Des Moines Public Schools. Esteemed School Board Director Kirsten Delagardel Shelley, as Superintendent, I proudly commend to you for the presentation of diplomas, the Ruby Van Meter Class of 2018. Our first graduate, Jessica Fox. Tanton, TJ, Han. Kendall, Michelle, Hull. Christopher A. Irvin.
Megan Long. Joseph Clayton Matsky. <laughs> Malaysia Oakley. Joseph Robbins. Mark Smith. Hey, trouble. <laughs> Danisha Turner. I would like to thank Dr. Tom Ahart, Mike Vukovic, and Kirsten Delagardell Shelley for being part of our graduation celebration tonight. I would also like to thank the graduation committee, who worked so hard to make graduation a special event for our seniors and their families. As we conclude, I would like to extend this best wishes to all of the graduates and their families from the entire staff at Ruby Van Meter and to our graduates. Many of you arrived here as sixth graders, but are leaving here as adults. You have overcome many challenges and have accomplished so much. No matter where you go or what you do, there will be challenges ahead. What I'm asking from each of you is to meet those challenges straight on with your head held high and your heart wide open as you did here every day, and you will excel in everything you do. Strive for excellence in every task, large or small. Each of you inspire those around you to strive for success. My challenge to each of you is that you continue to be caring, helpful, and inspiring. Each of your lives is a remarkable occasion, and I have no doubt that you will continue to inspire others. You will always be remembered for being caring, helping others, and for making people feel special, and for being the kind of person that others enjoy spending time with. You have touched our lives. You leave with our admiration and respect. You have represented us well as students, and now you will represent us as alumni. Congratulations to each of you. <laughs> Following commencement, I would like you to take the opportunity to graduate the graduates out in the hallway. And please remain seated until the graduates have all left the gym. Graduates, would you please stand? I now present to you the Ruby Van Meter class of 2018.